Okay, y'all. All I'm saying is, I got in just, okay? You guys, I was so happy yesterday. I went to the hair store to get one thing, and I decided to go down the synthetic hair aisle to see if there's anything new. You know, I didn't expect for there to be anything new, but I decided to try anyway. And when I went down that aisle, I saw that Outre Duo Batik had a new texture out. And I looked, and it said Dominican Blowout Straight. And I was like, ah, because I have been looking for some kinky textured, um, wefted synthetic hair, and I haven't been having any luck at my local beauty supply store. And so when I saw this, it just made my day. And I was like, okay, you know, it says Dominican Blowout, and it looks pretty kinky, you know, in the girl in the picture, but, you know, what if it's really not? So I opened the pack slid it out and it was perfect this texture is like if you ever worn annie a half another half wig by after if you ever worn annie it's just like that texture i mean i guess you can compare it to visa's hair texture and it's awesome i got it in the color two normally i get a one or a 1b however I didn't feel like going through the whole temporarily color in my hair this time. So I just wanted to get my natural hair color and it looks amazing. So I installed my hair on the U part wig. I have two clips, like the little wig clips that you use for clip-ins. Um, I have them at the top of my U and then two in the back. My hair is cornrow back, uh, straight back other than my leave out. My leave out is blow dry and flat iron. Normally, um, and even myself, I describe this hair textured, uh, this textured hair as natural hair that's been blown out. However, you know, when I'm being realistic with myself, I know that just blowing my hair out is not gonna make it blend with this with this hair. So I have to put a little extra heat on it, you know, not excessive, but I do have to put a little more heat to make it blend with this hair. So. If you are not wanting to put heat on your hair, if your hair doesn't get straight enough for just to blow out, this pack does come with a closure. This is the closure. It's about 16 inches. It looks really nice. The lace looks really nice. Um, I want to leave out so I didn't use it, but if you don't want to leave out, this is here and it's nice for you to use. The only downfall that I have so far with this hair is the shedding. And I did cut, once again, when I make my wigs, well, with synthetic hair, I always cut the wefts just to get it to lay as flat as possible. So I do get shedding with this hair and like I'm combing through it right now and I'm not getting any at the moment, but I did get some when I brushed it out, especially after I first made the wig. So it is what it is. I'll take shedding for $22.99. You know, this is a very good deal. This is a very some beautiful hair, especially for the price. So I will be looking, I'm still looking online for um, some human hair that is similar texture to this. I'm just, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the human hair wigs that are kinky straight. I'm afraid what will happen when I wash it. I've seen so many horror stories. I'm afraid of even the wefted hair. I'm worried about the longevity of that. So for now, I'm going to keep a tight budget when it comes to hair and just stick with this. Stick with synthetic hair, stick with outre, what's working for me. So yes, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the description. I mean, <laughs> If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.